let's talk about free wills and let's talk about cassettes. I'm going to put them over here on the counter and let's get started. All right, guys. So today we are talking about the differences between a free will and a cassette. You know, how can you tell the difference between a free will cassette and which one is better? We're going to answer all those in this short video. Now, what we've got here is we've got a uh, wheel that accepts a free will. And the way, the way you can tell the difference between the two is uh, this one, the hub itself is threaded where the free will threads on there. So you've got a long axle sticking through this wheel. Now, a cassette. A cassette is unique in that the gears actually, and let me see if I can remove these, I've already removed the, there we go, uh, the lock ring. And if you'll notice, the gears actually slide on and off of this splined driver. And with this one, what they did was the, it doesn't have a long axle sticking through here they've moved the bearing to inside of this free hub body so you actually have a short axle that has lef less leverage um, to break. Here is an example of a free will that was used by someone who was either um, over 200 pounds or who, you know, somebody who was, you know, very uh, aggressive riding, you know, jumping and such. And if you'll notice, you'll actually see that this, let's see if we can turn it. Um, if you'll notice, this axle is very bent. And what this does for you is if you're riding this bicycle and uh, you're riding and you notice that, hey, my gears aren't working properly and you readjust it, you start to ride again and everything's fine, but then your gears can go out of adjustment again. And that's because as this axle is bending, this the gears are actually moving slightly out of uh, sync with your derailleur causing some shifting issues and the axle can break there there's many things that can actually happen with this design and um, that's why a cassette is actually um, better than a free will now the way you can tell if you've got a free will versus a cassette is if you've got a five speed, six speed, or seven speed gear set on the back, there's a very good chance that it's actually a free will versus a cassette, at least as far as the newer bikes in 2020 and on. Now, if it's a eight speed, it could still be a free will. They do have uh, eight speed free wheels. However, those aren't that common. Now, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 speeds, it's going to be a cassette most likely. Now, right now, they don't do uh, nine, 10, 11, and 12 speed free wheels. Those are all cassettes. <clears throat> So let's see, um, oh, another way that you can tell you can actually see that there's a, a large gap. Just if you actually kind of look in there, if this wheel is actually on your bike, you can actually see a big gap between the axle and the gears on this. And if you see that, 
Well, it's going to be a free will. Whereas a cassette, you've got a nice lock ring on this. It, it looks a little sleeker. Everything's a little bit tighter. You can't actually see in between there. And there's little teeth in there for a tool to fit in there to you know, remove it. And if you see that, it's going to be a cassette. So um, this is, you know, this is a very short video. This was actually a, you know, a request uh, from Delma. So thank you, Delma, for watching. And, you know, if anybody, you know, has any questions, all you need to do is, you know, leave a comment down below. I do read every comment. Uh, I do appreciate everybody that's watching. <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, basically, to recap, the the cassette is definitely more durable than the free will. Ooh, the 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 way a cassette is made, they actually these gears are all actually um, separate, and I, if I actually unscrew this little screw here they will all separate and the way they do it they can actually um, manipulate the the um, the metal better to actually give you you know better shifting I can also uh, uh, or I can't forget that the cassettes are actually quite a bit lighter than uh, free will so there's many many advantages of having a uh, cassette over a free will. Now there is only one drawback uh, that I see and that drawback is most of the cassettes tend to be a little bit more expensive than the free wills and there could be many factors uh, to why uh, but one of the factors is they tend to be a nicer quality. There are some other companies that do cassettes that I've had a lot of problems with and that would be uh, Sunrace. I've had a lot of problems with the Sunrace cassettes because the uh, spacing from gear to gear on those, their, their quality control isn't as good as Shimano's or SRAM. So um, I've had a couple of them where I can get most of the gears working but not all of them work. So I'm going to say that this video is, is probably long enough. So if you've liked this video, if this has been helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. And uh, again, remember, leave your comments down below. And please, like always, please subscribe to my channel here. And don't forget to check out my other videos right over here. So, you know, again, this is the end of the video. So please, everybody, stay safe. You know, wash your hands. Stay well. Uh, if you're not feeling good, please stay away from other people. Uh, we do need to get through this. Um, and uh, as, as quickly as we can. But uh, again, thank you guys for you know watching my videos and I will see you in the next one. Y'all take care.